They are extremely successful in many categories, and they've taken down many other tech companies along the way. But now the year is 2025, and between missed deadlines and deleted commercials, it seems like even they are having some troubles with an emerging technology, and it is fascinating to watch. But tech moves fast. Remember Skype? Remember how Skype was like the default for online video calling, and then the pandemic happened in 2020, and then like two years later, everyone used Zoom. There's a lot of pressure to show some sort of AI something. Now there is some conventional wisdom that would say, hey, Apple, take a second, sit back, relax, do your typical second mover thing. You don't have to rush this. Because there are a lot of examples where Apple is not necessarily first to something, they sort of sit back and let someone else do the working on it and the maturing of the technology happens and then they jump in and implement it their own way. So they were not first to do OLEDs in their phones. They were not first to do wireless earbuds. They were not first to make a tablet. The iPhone itself is a perfect example. There were so many other smartphones before the iPhone, but they just executed on it in a way that differentiated them so well that people wanted theirs. The thing is, this second mover strategy is very much a hardware strategy, at least it typically has been. And this AI thing is different. It has very much just been these companies iterating as fast as possible and just moving and trying to implement as much as they can with these little on-device models to give people whatever useful features they can come up with and just throw them out there. So on a Google device that looks like Circle to Search and Gemini Assistant and Gemini Live and the Add Me camera feature that lets you take you know, adding an AI editor into Microsoft Paint, stuff like that. Now, certainly not all of this has gone super smoothly. There's been plenty of weird, rocky launches with companies like the recall feature from Windows got some backlash and people didn't love. Lots of stuff has not been ideal. There have even been whole startups that were born and died just trying to jump on the AI bandwagon as best they can. But at this point, basically every big tech company has something that they do that they can point at and be like, all right, look, see, we, we do AI. You can see we're being useful to our customers so you investors can relax.